Welcome to the World of Knots Landing, a TV series that left an indelible mark on the small screen in 1979. No need for dramatics here, let's dive straight into the heart of this gripping show. Brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions because there are funny, shocking, and downright sad facts waiting to unfold. So keep your eyes glued to the screen. Now, let me ask you, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Or perhaps, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes that fascinate you? The world of Knott's Landing is full of surprises and we're here to spill the beans. As you reminisce about the twists and turns of the show, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Knott's Landing. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for a trip down memory lane and share your thoughts the Knott's Landing community is waiting to hear from you. Funny, shocking, or sad, every tale is worth telling. So what's your Knott's Landing story? Share it with us. Knott's Landing stands out as a notable television series that emerged as a spin-off from the well-received show Dallas in 1979. Set in the cold de sac Seaview circle, the show quickly became a beloved presence on TV screens. The series, while not without its highs and lows, consistently offered an enjoyable hour of television for viewers. At the heart of the show, the character Karen Fairgate McKenzie, portrayed by Michelle Lee, stands out as one of its strongest assets. Her relationships with two significant characters, Sid Fairgate, the owner of Knott's Landing Motors, and later Mac McKenzie, a lawyer, formed a central and compelling part of the narrative. The on-screen chemistry between Karen and Mac made their portrayal of a married couple genuinely believable. The introduction of Abby, played by Donna Mills, added another layer of intrigue to the series. Her character, often entangled in romantic pursuits, brought a new dynamic to the show. Sumner, portrayed by Bill Devane, contributed a comic touch to tense situations with his unique choice of words. The enduring love story of Val and Gary, despite various marital challenges, added depth to the narrative. The ensemble cast featured other memorable characters, including Laura, Richard, Paige, Lillamy, Claudia, Anne, Frank, and Olivia. Additionally, the series boasted a lineup of notable guest stars, such as Ava Gardner, Alec Baldwin, Lisa Hartman Black, Red Buttons, and Pam Greer. Even by today's standards, the show maintains its appeal. Hopefully, it will be released on DVD soon, allowing a broader audience to enjoy its timeless storytelling and well-crafted characters. Joan Van Ark exited the series after the 13th season to star in an unsuccessful NBC sitcom. Her return for the final episode a year later marked a reunion with the ensemble. Michelle Lee and Ted Shackelford remained with the show from its 1979 inception until its 1993 conclusion. Lee, the sole actress in all 344 episodes, set a record for a primetime drama spanning 17 seasons. Following the conclusion of Dallas in 1991, the show assumed the mantle of the longest-running American primetime scripted series until its own finale in 1993. As the last survivor from the 1970s premieres, it maintained its status until its curtain call on May 13, 1993. The longevity of the series rests on the shoulders of Lee and Shackelford, who weathered the narrative storms from the inaugural episode to the final credits. Van Ark, although present in every season, made her final appearance in the series finale. The torchbearer for American scripted series, its endurance post-Dallas solidified its place in television history. As the final frame faded to black in 1993, it concluded an era, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of television. William Sid Fairgate's actual first name was William. Notably, actors Ted Shackelford, Joan Van Ark, Larry Hagman, Patrick Duffy, Charlene Tilton, Mary Crosby, and Eric Farlow portrayed the same characters in both Dallas and its spin-off, Knott's Landing. With the exception of Crosby and Farlow, they also maintained consistency in their roles. While the characters frequented Lotus Point Country Club on screen, the real filming took place at MGM Studios in Beverly Hills, California. Additionally, the studio doubled as the Salishan Spa and Golf Course situated in Glenadon Beach, Oregon, a considerable distance from its on-screen representation in Granada Hills, California. The TV series, born as a spin-off from Dallas in 1979, established itself as a notable presence on television. Michelle Lee's portrayal of Karen Fairgate McKenzie served as a pivotal element, with her relationships with Sid Fairgate and later Mac McKenzie forming compelling narrative arcs. 
Donna Mills' introduction as Abby added complexity, and Bill Devane's Sumner brought a touch of humor to tense moments. The enduring love story of Val and Gary, despite marital challenges, added depth. The ensemble cast, featuring characters like Laura, Richard, Paige, Lillamy, Claudia, Anne, Frank, and Olivia, enriched the storytelling. Notable guest stars, including Eva Gardner, Alec Baldwin, Lisa Hartman Black, Red Buttons, and Pam Greer, further elevated the series. Joan Van Ark exited the series after the 13th season, but returned for the final episode a year later. Michelle Lee and Ted Shackelford remained constants from the show's inception in 1979 until its conclusion in 1993. Lee, appearing in all 344 episodes, set a primetime drama record spanning 17 seasons. After Dallas concluded in 1991, Knott's Landing held the title of the longest-running American primetime scripted series until its finale in 1993. As the last survivor from the 1970s premieres, the show secured its place in television history, a testament to the enduring performances of Lee and Shackelford. Joan Van Ark, present in every season, made her final appearance in the series finale, marking the end of an era. The series, with its curtain call on May 13, 1993, left an enduring legacy in the annals of television. Following the series' conclusion, Kevin Dobson and Nicolette Sheridan attended Telly Savala's funeral, paying respects to the late actor who succumbed to prostate cancer in January 1994. Dobson, previously co-starring with Savala's on Kojak, had established a mentorship long before joining the cast. Interestingly, Sheridan, Savala's stepdaughter in real life, also shared connections beyond Knott's Landing. Before gracing the small screen with Knott's Landing, Kevin Dobson collaborated with Joan Van Ark on an episode of Kojak. In this particular installment, Van Ark portrayed a female detective joining the team, much to Kojak's initial dismay. This collaboration predated their involvement in the later series, highlighting the interconnectedness of the television industry. Michelle Lee, Ted Shackelford, and Joan Van Ark earned their places as the series stalwarts, each appearing in 300 or more episodes. Lee's remarkable feat stands out, having participated in all 344 episodes, setting a record for a primetime drama that spanned 17 seasons. Shackelford followed would closely with 330 episodes, while Van Ark contributed to 317 episodes. Their enduring commitment underscored the series' longevity and success. Knott's Landing secured its place in television history as the lengthiest live-action spin-off in American prime time until Law & Order SVU surpassed its record in 2013. Michelle Lee's character, Karen Fairgate McKenzie, faced a year of singlehood post-Don Murray's exit. Kevin Dobson later stepped in as her second husband until the series finale. The 82-83 season saw the departure of Lisa Hartman Black's character, Sigi Dunn. Viewer letters clamoring for her return led to the introduction of Kathy Geary, a Sigi look-alike in the subsequent season. Kevin Dobson and Nicolette Sheridan, connected by more than Knott's Landing, paid respects at Telly Savala's funeral. Dobson, a mentor to Savala's, had previous ties through Kojak. Sheridan, Savala's stepdaughter, shared connections beyond the show. Michelle Lee, Ted Shackelford, and Joan Van Ark emerged as stalwarts, each surpassing 300 episodes. Lee's record setting 344 episodes spanned 17 seasons. Shackelford Follow would closely with 330, while Van Ark contributed to 317, underlining the show's enduring commitment and success.